Welcome to the JNT. Labour president don't say Baba T make no they make fake promises. My people are on a day. We don't come again for this our news channel. If this one is the first time where you they come across this our video, make you do well to subscribe. And if you don't subscribe before, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that all our news where they enter go they enter your phone as if not text message you. This will not be them say them say this one not seeing them for yourself, make you hear them for yourself. Oh. My people, on today's news, we want to talk about the protests we are going to do. After many many protests, peaceful protests, NLC president don't come and give indirect speech to Mr. President. Too. He didn't talk many many things for this is speech. Too. Not be only move and go fit talk and go good make you hear and direct from the Aussie's matto. They could not listen to waiting ever president tell Baba T. Make could not watch this video reach the end though. <laughs> Brought here that we have been suffering, and and a slave has nothing to lose than his chance. It has got into our neck, and we can't breathe again. We have waited for this long to see whether salvation will come. Salvation is not come forthcoming. We waited with enthusiasm, great enthusiasm, to listen to Mr. President to bring succor to all of us. So that from day to day, Nigerians will celebrate, move into the streets, and hail our president. But I think we didn't get that. We decided to use Nigerians as our barometer to see the response to Mr. President's speech. But that wasn't what we expected. Almost two months after, the subsidy was removed, and cost of living went up. There is no concrete move to equally ameliorate the suffering. No worker has gotten one naira extra, and we expected to come to work. We are, we are surprised that people are saying, if we go on strike or if we protest, it will paralyze the economy. The Nigerian state, through their governors, have even called for sit at home. In most days, they have asked them to come to work for only two days. In some, they ask them to come to work for only three days. What does that mean? Is he not sit at home? Is he not a strike? It's an official strike to tell people not to come to work. And in industrial relations, strike means both workers staying at home and lockout by management. When management says don't come to work, management or they lock you, they get for you. Management has done what is called lockout. My people, hope now that watch the video. Now that yeah, see, wait see, Baba T don't talk. Wait see, be plan, not be bad idea. But the cocoa now say this one wait see three thousand buses. It go reach all the thirty six states. Some states not go get past some states. Now be the cocoa make at the talk. A price of bomb price of petroleum products, none. The injunction they got on five hundred and twenty. On the you, if you remember, it was on the basis of which we negotiated and got an agreement that has not been implemented to date. So any discussion, we have not started any discussion on 617. If the federal government refuses to discuss 617, we discuss other options. The labor centers will review their stand and look at further options. Because the suffering inflicted by 520 is doubled with the suffering inflicted by 617. So communists, we cannot use the we cannot use the 
medicine meant to cure 520 to cure 617. Yes, sir. Never. Never. Whether the law, whether the drug in legal palace or even in pharmaceutical palace to cure you know, a drug, to cure an ailment of 520 and 517, it will not work. If you give somebody 100 milligrams, which was meant for 520, for him to treat 617, will it work? No. It is not the same. And it's important for our people to know it. And when you say you, are, you went to court and the judge pronounces that status quo remains, ante bulum. It then means that it then means that every party should maintain the status quo. Now we are fighting, you beat me, I beat you. The court said, no, stop fighting. And the following day, somebody beat you again, one of the parties. Is the, per has the, pers is the person not violating the law? Yes. yes. The content of court. There is no way a court will give order based on 520 for the two parties to maintain status quo. And the, then the one party now increased it again. Whereas the cost of the problem, ab initio, was the increase. So you can see that as NLC and TUC, we are law abiding and will continue to engage with the government and their representatives until we find a solution. But let me say this, comrades. A day after announcement of 617, some people went to National Assembly to protest that they support the increase. Comrades, it will be illegal for anybody to say that the other group should not protest to say they don't support it. Highly immoral. And it will amount to having double rules for people from the same country. Yesterday, if you move around Abuja here, you saw some people carrying placards to support Aswaju. These people want to carry placards to say we don't support. Are you not supposed to allow them? Yeah. The policy which was we started from the time of my predecessor, and the time of uh, Siva, we agreed that the federal government will convert about one million vehicles within a period of three months, and that the Central Bank of Nigeria will provide 250 billion. As at now, I learned that the federal government, sorry, the Central Bank, whether they have provided 60 billion or whatever, we don't know where it is. So, if they have done that. And now what the president is telling us is that they have made provision for 100 billion naira for conversion of 125,000 vehicles. And that this will last for a period of 18 months, a year and six months. If you do this for a year and six months, Nigerians would have finished, they would have gone to their ancestors. What we are looking at is immediate solution. And if you look at the rate they brought this for 100 billion naira for 125,000 vehicles, the conversion rate should then be 800, 800,000. Those that make a presentation to labor and other areas, and Mr. President in his speech said he has saved 1 trillion. So who do we believe now? Do we believe Mr. President or them? We believe Mr. President. Yeah. Let them bring that one trillion. Yeah. So that we we'll now look at some of these palliatives on how to handle it. Comrades, we did not agree with them on the uh, their proposal they are making that they will share eight, eight million, sorry, eight, eight thousand for every household for 12 million people. What they brought to us before was 50, 50 million people. And we say that the Bureau of Statistics provided that 1.3 million Nigerians are multidimensionally poor. And there's no way they want to pay only five, 50 million people. But they have reduced it to now 12 million households. Comrades, on and on and on. You know. So that is why we have come here to make a statement that even if we we'll get any palliative, we we'll get anything, the Federal Minister of Justice will be a partaker. The Solicitor General will be a partaker. Whatever we are doing now is of benefit of all Nigerians. 
If we get the CNG option, work it. All of them will use it to feed their tanks. Yes. Where have we committed offense? Oh. Is it in saying that we should be governed well? Or that the poor must breed? My people who not watch the video. Choo 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 choo, wait till this Labour president they talk. If they make sense so, make them not restrict the air flow of the poor. Make them allow the poor breathe so, because as we did so, not be small thing. They happen for this Nigeria economy. Oh, now God, now go help us. Now this one will bring for our news today. Make we do it to like, share, and comment. Until we meet again for another news, we can do it to stay safe for Nado. DJ